Is Hootie and the Blowfish a movie or a band? It's a band. Do you know what genre? Like rock? <laughs> they were very like mainstream for a very short period of time in the 90s. And then they kind of just disappeared. American rock band that was formed in Columbia, South Carolina in 86. Um, sure, Brown, sure. All right, well, let's uh, check it out. Let's do it. Shooting the catfish. Hmm, so we do have a Pokemon look going on, but what was this made with? RPG Maker? It's, it's in the tags, so. <laughs> I was talking to the Skull Piss Off Shooty. I read it as I've had a big nut and my head is pounding. <laughs> Oh, wait, what the fuck? I'm stuck outside the goddamn... Uh-oh. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to what I did. <laughs> That's weird. Oh. The shit. <laughs> what the fuck? This game has cursing in it. Huh. It's not very Pokemon-like. I would never <laughs> curse in Pokemon. Well, just based on the, the looks of the game, it's not something you would have expected. Cool to see an RPG Maker game that actually makes use of the RPG engine in RPG Maker. Shooty looks odd to me. It looks like a rectangle with like a drawer knob and then a beret on the side of the corner of the square. Oh, oh no, it's okay. It's a square head dude with a backwards baseball cap and a, a piece of hair poking out of the part you hang the hat by. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. <laughs> My brain was really overcomplicating that one. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the both of you, alright? Go ahead. Fuck yourself. <laughs> this guy's a jerk. Yeah, it is kind of off putting when cutesy characters curse, not because I'm offended, but it just feels out of character. It feels like one of those um, cliches that you see. They're trying to be subversive, but it's it's a little too like obvious, you know. I do enjoy the look of this uh, Game Boy Color esque palette. But what do you want me to say? For I'm just an old man, and my balls are saggy. <laughs> the guy next to the guy who said his balls are saggy looks disgusting. His like nose is like a weird <laughs> thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in here but jars of pickled dicks. <laughs> I saw that too. That's pretty good. I don't know. I'm getting kind of uh, Pine Creek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vibes. I can, I can feel it. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just not something I enjoy in particular. <laughs> and these portraits are something. <laughs> I know. Yeah. What are you thinking? Well, I don't know. It's okay so far. It's weird. Does it make you think of Earthbound? Maybe just a little bit. I don't know. And just like the uh, the general feel, you know, and not too much in the tone. Well, how would you describe this game's tone? I don't know. Maybe a little edgy. It's one of those kind of things where it's like it's hard to say if it's genuine and it's like weirdness or if it's like trying. Some games like... Uh, Remember that nightmare game we played? That kind of felt like uh, it might—it may have been trying too hard to be some some weird weird ass game. This one, I'm not, I'm not really sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, some of these enemies and jokes sound like they'd be well placed in Stone Cock. <laughs> I'm That's fighting true. Earthy Chode. <laughs> You got an item called green herb. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, it's a me. I'm a, I'm surprised it wasn't, uh, there wasn't a weed joke used there. I will say the battle has great presentation with the sliding backgrounds and the little <laughs> slice that, uh, shooty does. And when he shoots his gun and I do like the two giant headshots of shooty and catfish just there in the corner. <laughs> And yeah. their health expressed as bars rather than numbers. It looks pretty clean compared to something like Earthbound that's just a bunch of numbers. 
a bunch of names and numbers. It would have been cool if they were little headshots of the people in your party. Makes me wonder what's going to happen if another person's added to your party. <laughs> also kind of neat to see that the random encounters aren't really random. You have to touch them. Which I guess is something that was in Earthbound as well. But I'm kind of used to Pokemon where shit just comes out at you out of nowhere. <laughs> I will say it's pretty funny to see... <laughs> the fucking mangled corpse of the thing you just fought just laying there after you've defeated it. <laughs> it's like what would actually happen if you fought something that doesn't just disappear. This game might be going for, you know, some of that, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's like the vibe I got from this game called Lisa the Painful RPG. There's like these fucked up things happening, but it's like in a very earthbound JRPG kind of style. The contrast of, of that is like noteworthy on its own. Or maybe they want to have it be like a talking point. Like, oh, do you see that game? It's pretty fucked up. It's, you're just murdering all these people. They just sit there on the on the map screen after you kill them. The corpses are just there. <laughs> my guy died. Your I guy? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my shooty died. Oh shit, I just ran into the thing that killed you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I killed him with one diss. <laughs> oh, nice. The hell even is a diss? Is it like, yo, bro, you're a cuck, bro? Oh my god, got him. I think that's exactly what it is, honestly. <laughs> diss. <laughs> <laughs> A diss sounds like <laughs> going up to a guy saying your mama's so fat, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You got it. A diss, that's like such a 90s word. It really is, yeah. Like, would anybody actually, like, go up to somebody and say, yo, did you just diss me? I just, like, get mad about it. This game doesn't need it, and it's kind of a tall order, but I do miss how in Earthbound they were multiple battle tracks and multiple backgrounds just to add some variety to what are otherwise pretty monotonous turn-based RPG battles. Well, this guy's a lot of damage, holy shit. Better diss him. <laughs> mm, okay, so you need five fish food to do a diss, and how much does a fish food cost? It costs... Uh, one. Just one. So each disc is five dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of expensive, honestly. But... Mm, well, it's kind of like some super bottle rocket that you get for Jeff. I know it's not always fair to compare games to other games or indie games to AAA games, but your mind just kind of does it unconsciously. I'd be surprised if they weren't going for some Earthbound influence here, or if they wouldn't say that it was an influence on this game because it seems pretty obvious. Bitch. Okay. Oh my god. It's like the second time I've used a green herb and then stumbled across a, a PC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, earthy chode, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, blah, blah, blah. oh my god. Whoa, what's it chode, bro? Oh my god. And then his note is like a, a sub chode coming off the main chode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't say that in a video game. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Games now have the freedom to say whatever the hell they want. So they can curse, they can have sex scenes, drug references, killing people, all that stuff. It's interesting to see what game developers choose to use that freedom to do. And in this case, it was a bunch of dick jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's not like it's necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of funny just how far games have come with their creative freedoms. Oh, bitch. I do like how everything you use the aiming reticle, even a diss. Like, you have to aim your diss at the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Owned. Wait, zat. Oh, wait, zat. What the fuck? Oh, okay, that's the hoe fish's name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that? your catfish. Oh yeah, it said this game had an EDM soundtrack. Yeah, I'm hearing it. Kind of an interesting choice for a Game Boy-esque video game. 
Who do you like more, Shooty or Zat? <laughs> I think I gotta go with Zat. I feel like Zat is more of a straight shooter, ironically. <laughs> Shooting those disses. Yeah, this is a pretty big dungeon, like you said. I've kind of forgotten we were here to do some mushroom extermination. I guess uh, now I know why there's a always dash option. Well, there's a lot of ground to cover, but you do move uh, reasonably fast, which I like. Mm, I do like you can talk to the side of the PC. Such an innocuous detail. But I love that about this game and Pokemon, just talking to the side of a PC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as if you're like reaching around where you can't even see it, like what's happening <laughs> on the monitor. Oh, sh what the fuck is that, bro? Damn. Oh my fuck. Oh fuck. Tough worm. <laughs> yeah. Damn, it's survived four disses. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> The saggiest, let me tell you, like avocados and stockings, they are. Nice. I, I like that wow. shit. It's a, gr it's a good visual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dude's blocking me. I can't see what's on his TV. What the fuck? Oh, oh my shit. god. If uh, there's any missing colliders, this is the room to do it, because... I can't see what's on his TV, bro. Oh my god. Alright, I got the key card. Okay. Excellent. You can see the awesome final conclusion of the game. <laughs> it's just an ending screen with the shooting and Zat flipping you off. Yeah, yeah. You to go fuck yourself. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I joke, but <laughs> yeah, for this game, you know, didn't put it past. It. Yeah. Mmm, you grub. Yeah, blast him. Um, why? Why are we killing this dude? He looks pretty uh sad. Oh, it would be a funny gag if every enemy just died to one bullet because it makes sense. I guess this is a little more lighthearted than other games that uh, are going for the big emotional impact where it's like, oh, you just shot this guy, and, you know, <laughs> now he's fucking dead. It's realistic. He has a family, huh? <laughs> yeah. Nifty Nimbin figure, though. Oh, shit. Wow. I've also noticed this game just says fuck you to apostrophes. <laughs> yeah, and it's got a couple... Um, Typos that keep popping up, like why you are in place of why you are e or other other forms. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, I'm looking up what this dude looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't even know what this guy is. It's Max Nimbin, dude. Oh, maybe it's Nimbus Max. Oh no, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking boat. <laughs> oh. Show, showing me like uh, an old dude who smokes weed or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's him, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who fucking knows? Okay. So what'd you think? Um, it grew on me. Overplaying it. First I was kind of turned off by the cursing. Not because I'm some Puritan. Cursing's fine, but it felt out of place like it did in Pine Creek. But I really started to dig it once I got to the mine. Ah, uh, dig it. Ha, <laughs> mine, ha. <laughs> eh. And uh, started fighting your generic garden variety enemies and gaining levels, gaining skills, buying stuff. Felt very reminiscent of Earthbound once that started to go underway. And uh, I really liked it. I can't say I paid much attention to the story or cared for that too much. And the dialogue wasn't my cup of tea, but I do like the duo of Shooty and Zat and their designs. And I do like the headshots used for the dialogues, but what was in the dialogues uh, didn't really do it for me. But overall, I liked it, and I would check out episode two. Oh, yeah!
What did you think? It was fun. I would say it's like uh, my jam, so to speak. But I thought, you know, the weirdness was entertaining enough. I like weird stuff for the most part. This might have been a little too in a certain direction that I didn't uh, love. But even with that said, I think it was pretty pretty cool. And uh, I enjoyed my time with it. I would, I would play another episode if if they were to release one. Would you give it... <laughs> I was gonna say, would you give a chode out of something? But oh, <laughs> earthy out of chode. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <What>? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>